I guess he's not coming. Oh well. Anime TV, go! <laughs> Zombies run! TV. My name is Christina V. This is season four of Anime TV and I'm really excited. We have a fresh new start to the show, an all new format, and today is our special Undead episode. We're going to review the High School of the Dead anime. We're going to teach you how to play Resident Evil, the card game, and we have a brand new segment for you called The Great Debate, and we're going to debate which type of zombie is more deadly. But before all of this, we have our newest cast member, Aaron. He's going to teach you all about the Japanese perspective on zombies. All right, Aaron, take it away. Thank you very much, Christina. Hey guys, my name's Aaron. I'm the new guy, so I'll try to I'll try to keep things up to par. All right. So um, before I give you a Japanese perspective on zombies, I'm going to go ahead and give you a brief rundown and history of zombies in general. So zombies originated in Haiti, and it came from the Haitian practice of voodoo. So voodoo, undead zombies. Haiti practices, you know, very crazy stuff. That's pretty much that. So, in the 1930s and 40s, uh, that was a big zombie boom, and that's where they really came into play, until 1968, where George Romero actually recreated the zombies into the flesh-eating, disease-carrying, plague-spreading creatures that we have today that will bite your face off unless you bust a cap in them, you know? So... Thank you, George Romero, for helping us to not sleep at night. Alright, as far as the Japanese perspective goes, uh, their culture really had them cremate their bodies rather than, you know, bury them in the ground. So, they didn't really have any bodies to, you know, grab you as you're walking through a graveyard. Uh, they also honor their dead rather than fear them a lot. So, instead of, you know, whereas the Western culture, we would try to shoot the zombie, Japanese culture would have them come over for Thanksgiving or something, you know. But uh, they didn't really have a big zombie craze and epidemic until the year 2000. I mean, they were making zombie movies before that, but the big craze didn't happen until uh, the turn of the century. So after that, they started coming out with a lot more movies, uh, TV shows, programs, uh, animes, whatever. But uh, they're actually getting really good at it, and we're all looking forward to the next things they come out with, you know? But that's pretty much it on the Japanese culture and perspective on zombies. And uh, we're going to go ahead and cut to commercial, and we'll be right back. All right? See you guys. Resident Evil, the deck-building game. In order to play the game, you need at least one player. But to really play, you have to have two. For the sake of teaching though, we're only using one. First, you must select your character. Thomas has chosen Ada, because she's a hottie. There are three types of cards, resources, weapons, and actions. With these, we can create our basic setup. Now for your starting deck, a handgun, two knives, and seven resource cards. Now shuffle all those cards together, draw five, and see what you get. Now separate your resource cards and use them to buy cards from the basic setup. Whatever you buy goes to your discard pile. When your turn's over, your hand goes there too. Now draw five, and repeat, and repeat, and repeat, and repeat! Now when you have no more cards left to draw, what do you do? Uh -huh. Silly Thomas, you just have to reshuffle your discard pile into your deck and draw five cards. Whoa, it looks like Thomas drew a good hand and is ready to go into the mansion. What will he hit? Ouroboros automatic death. 
Better luck next time, buddy. Thanks for playing. Make sure to check out Resident Evil the deck building game at Halo 13 in the Burbank Mall. <laughs>
well, okay. you and be better, like, and stronger? Well, or, I mean, no, like, well, I mean, if I'm so dying so. anyways, I guess I don't really have a say in the point. But, I mean, I mean all granted, I'm saying is that a classic zombie death is much more gruesome and horrifying. So you're telling me, the beginning of Dawn of the Dead, that guy's driving in his car. Okay. And that zombie is hauling ass behind him, running after him, that you did not think for one second that zombie was gonna catch that car. Because I, I thought that zombie was gonna catch that car. Okay, yeah, that's that's terrifying. That's pretty terrifying. The okay, but also, zombies are the best. You cannot deny they are the best. They do have good zombies, but I'm just saying, like, if you, okay, compare one zombie in the back of a car when you're driving away to, you know, coming up to a barricade of a hundred zombies Who just like staring at you. You could just treat Guys, that. guys, guys, wait. There's only one way to settle this. Zombie fight! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Where did you come from? I don't, that's it's kind, kind of, of weird. weird. It's, it's my strange. talent. Hello? Hey, Mr. Romero, it's Aaron. Yeah, how's it going? Hey, I borrowed a zombie from the uh, set, is that alright? Yeah, sure, I'll be sure to feed her, no worries. Uh, hey, say hi to the- hold on one second. Hey, can you be quiet for a second on the phone? Hey, say hi to the wife for me and I will, uh, see you Thanksgiving, alright? Great. Alright, see you then. Christ, I'm on the phone for God's sake. You ready for this? Thanks soon.